Oh. I didn't look at my view last night. I thought there was gonna be like a big reveal to say, guys, I'm in Pittsburgh, but it was just a building. But that's where I am. I'm in Pittsburgh. I'm filming something really, really fun. So usually I don't actually get to spend much time in the city, but today I've got a day off and I'm going to hang with my friend Des, who you may remember if you guys have been fans of my channel for a long time. We used to make videos together back in the day when I lived here. So I'm heading off to meet her. We're going to an afternoon showing of Star Wars, which I'm so excited about because all of my friends have seen it without me. I've been super busy these past few weeks, so I had zero chance to see it. But today, I've got the day off and I can't wait. We're also gonna go to Target and probably go to Starbucks. So come along for the ride. Okay, but where's my other shoe? How am I gonna make a montage starting off my video with one shoe? Here it is. Guys, it's so cold outside. I look like a Easter egg. Pittsburgh, baby! Oh my god, I love the city, I love the people, I love everything about it, and I especially love that it's the holiday season because there's Christmas decorations up. It's so festive, it's so amazing. I'm super excited. I'm also going to see Star Wars. I am like a child. I, well, I am a child, basically. I think we're gonna go to Target first because I gotta get some items. West on 6th Avenue toward William Penn Place, then turn left onto William Penn Place. My GPS got me real lost, but we're on track. So I forgot to pack a, a bigger bag. So the bag that I have is so tiny, like I basically can only fit a Mophie charger and my phone in it, which that's not ideal. So Target. Oh, I need to get some jammies. Oh, are those, that's a dress. That is not jammies. It's just, it's incredible. It's perfect, it's absolutely perfect. R2D2. Holly sweater? Yes, please. So I think this is perfect, unless I found a Star Wars backpack. So far, I haven't seen one yet. Des is here, hi! So I was like, Daz, I'm at Target, I'm in the little boys section looking for sweatpants. <laughs> She's like, are you shopping for little boys? I was like, no, shopping for myself. I was looking for Star Wars sweatpants. And look at this, they actually have oh, yeah. girl Star Wars sweatpants. Yeah, those, are <gasps> those are so soft. soft. Oh my gosh, look at these ones. I forgot sweatpants, so I've been sleeping in the hotel with no sweatpants. No sweatpants. <laughs> So cool, okay, that's one of the things on the list. So Brian's having a Christmas party and she said that we could like wear Christmas sweaters or onesies. Oh gosh, there's a Chewbacca over here. Wowee. I think I'm just gonna wear my R2G2 sweater. Why are these in the boys section? Let us let us ladies have, have some fun too. Man, I wasn't even like trying to go shopping. I just wanted a few items. Oh, were you gonna treat launcher? Come on. It doesn't actually work that well. That's a future video that Ro and I filmed, but it's not out yet, so stay tuned. <laughs> Last thing on the list. Can I get a redo? Can I get a redo? I'm putting the lotion in the basket. <laughs> <laughs> because of course I would get the popcorn with the pork bucket. It also has BB-8 on it too, which is incredible. So we just got out of Star Wars and it was so good. I was getting a little worried because I kept seeing people on Twitter saying that they didn't enjoy the movie and I was like, but why not? Well, that's crap because I thought it was absolutely fantastic. I, I loved it. Now this is gonna be a good segue into a video that I filmed a little while ago, but I never really had a good place for it. It's a really cool Star Wars museum. My friend owns a ton of original Star Wars art, some that has never seen the light of day. So let's cut to that that I went to a few weeks ago. This is Greg. Hi Greg, how are you? How you doing? Can you explain to them where we are right now and what's going on? Because I feel like I did not do it justice. We're in Carter Sexton's, which is one of the oldest art stores in LA. Uh, coincidentally, the art store that sold the guys at ILM, uh, the art supplies to design the original Star Wars. And I, tonight, am doing a pop-up gallery of all the artwork I own from the original classic trilogy of Star Wars done by all these famous artists to celebrate the fact that I have a virtual museum that any of you guys can go and visit. Which is really cool. I tried it out. I was picking up all of your pieces and throwing them. <laughs> Which is something that you can do in virtual reality, but not in real life. But do you have a favorite piece here that is one of your most coveted pieces? Other than this one, that is, is you. <laughs> I know, it would be weird. Is it weird if you say that your favorite piece is a painting of you? No, it's this, not. This was done by the legendary artist Drew Struzan, who did... Uh, 
posters for all of the Star Wars movies. But he also did posters for like the Goonies and Back to the Future. Like, if there's a movie poster you love, Drew did it. He's, he's, he's here. here. He's back. He's back there. We'll see. But uh, I had. Oh, hi, Drew. There we go. <laughs> I had done some sculptures for Lucasfilm, uh, that collectible sculptures, and I needed to do a Star Wars box. And I was like, oh, it would be awesome if Drew would do it. And he did. And he painted me as an X Wing pilot to go on the back of the box so that people knew that I did the art. I mean, this is so awesome. Another fun fact, which is completely unrelated to this. I once got my arms ripped off in a video with Tommy Wiseau and the man that made those fake arms <laughs> was Greg. That's my claim to fame. I ripped your arms off. Crazy. And, oh my gosh, and Disaster Artist just came out too, which was an incredible movie. But that's a whole other story. What other piece do you think is your, your second favorite? Um, can we go see? Can we go Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, see if you can sneak okay, that let's way. Okay, let's go this way. Let's go this way. Of the art that I own from Star Wars, I'm calling this exhibit the lost art of Star Wars because when they were making the movie, particularly the, the first one, A New Hope, no one thought that it would even last two weeks in the theater. So as all the artists were working their heart out doing all these drawings and designs, if something got rejected, it just got torn up or thrown away. Wow. So this piece right here is from Empire Strikes Back, and it is uh, the trench on Hoth after the rebels were defeated, but Boba Fett is in the trench. I asked Joe Johnson, why is Boba, was Boba Fett on Hoth? Because he doesn't come into the story till later. Yeah. And it turns out that the early designs for Boba Fett were actually for the super trooper when before Lucas even wrote the script he was like we gotta design these like super stormtroopers. I mean, this is like I'm a Star Wars fan, but this is completely taking it all to an entirely new level. Like this is inc just absolutely incredible. You want to see one more thing that's incredible? Yes. Let's go back to the other side. Okay. These paintings here and this collection of drawings right here are the first ever drawings done for Star Wars. So they kind of had lunch. Luke is like, oh, here's my idea. There's these good guys and bad guys, and and Colin came up with these drawings, and he said that the only thing he knew for sure he had to do was make the good guys and the bad guys identifiable to the audience. Wow. So, so these original paintings here are that before anything, that was Star Wars. Just something super <laughs> simple, you know, just something I put together over lunch, you know, no big deal. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing oh, this no all problem. with us. Now, there's an entire VR experience that you guys can actually Beautiful. see. I'll put a link oh, in the description. Cool. So if you guys have, like, how does that all work? It's called the Sansar. <laughs> Sansar is, is the uh, vehicle that we use. The, um, and if you have a vibe or an oculus, <laughs> you can just log on and oh, enter the museum. Swim. It's so cool. You see all this stuff really close. You guys gotta check yes. it out. Okay, bye. Okay, now we're back here. <laughs> back in Pittsburgh. Hi, Des, did you like it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was good. I can't believe I have a bucket. Like, what am I gonna do with this? I got it stuck under the chair, and it's now, I got a dent on it. So we are at Bree's holiday party, and I've got this incredible R2-D2 sweater on, and Brian, hey, Brian, let me see that sweater. Find your lack of cheer. Yeah, they want It's so good. So what I'm gonna do is I got these little lights, and I'm going to string them through my sweater so that it'll be like super festive. I hope this works, but I'm really not sure if it's gonna. I'm ruining my sweater. <laughs> this poor little boy. You're okay. Oh, that's Billy. Can you make Christmas I feel like a nice What do you think? He looks like he's coming from the old country. Hi. He hates it. He hates it. Daddy, Merry Christmas, honey. Do you have the keys? No, you're driving. Why would I have the keys? Wow, Christmas sass. You do this all the time. <laughs> We're going Christmas shopping. Well, basically only buying one thing. We're getting our grandmother a new iPhone, so I'm super excited about it. But it's Christmas Eve, so what are we thinking? It's Christmas my Eve. My camera is also gonna die, so I'll probably be continuing this vlog on my iPhone, like usual. My camera has been dying so fast. Mine dies in like 20 minutes. It's it's actually crazy. Yeah. There's got to be a new camera out soon because this one is seen better days. Yeah, it's not too well. Oh, it's chilly. I'm chilled to the core. At least it's not snowing like in Chicago. A lot of snow. <sighs> yeah, good look, we can, we can put our seated, heated seats on. Our seated, seated heats. Wow, is it chilly? 
But it's actually not that cold, considering. So, Christmas Eve. Wow! Christmas Eve at the mall. Let's see what it's like. You know what? It's it doesn't look bad. It's bad, because I feel like everyone's probably went like yesterday. True. Everyone's probably spending time with their family, not going to the mall. <laughs> we also have to go to Whole Foods, because I need some yerba mate. Yes. It's like an empty mall. <laughs> so I completely forgot. The new South Hills Mall oh, yeah. has a new Apple store. Where is it? I think it's in the same place. No, they moved it. I'm actually not sure. Wait, can we go to Build-A-Bear? Because they have new Mario Build-A-Bears. I love, I love the mall. Okay, okay. One thing at a time though. <laughs> what do you think? It's not here anymore. Now it's just advertisements. walking in look at these doors they're amazing they all just swing out so this is like the new style of Apple stores that they have the first one that I saw like this was the one in New York where they have like the whole World Trade Center they have like a huge screen over here too what are you doing Jen just looking at the new computer the new iMac look at it it's nice. It looks so good. Here's the new iMac Pro. So I didn't even make a video because I basically had all of my holiday videos already planned, but I did order the new iMac Pro, and if you guys want to guess which one I got, I'll make a video about that later, but here it is. The new matte black keyboard looks beautiful. One thing that I'm a little bit suspect about is this mouse. It's very glossy, so that's going to definitely pick up a lot of fingerprints, but this thing's beautiful. We got Graham's new iPhone. I'm also contemplating getting this. This is the best color ever. Don't do it. Oh, you're shaking your head now. I was like, do you don't think I should get the yellow case? <laughs> it's gonna look so good. So festive for the holiday season, for the new year. New year, new me. I mean, I even got the watch band to match, baby. This is my new present for myself. Merry Christmas. This is such a nice Whole Foods. This is fairly new. I know it's not exciting for a bunch of you guys if you live in California because we have them like on every single street corner. But here, back home, this is very nice. Look how cute this is. Will it fall through? We're gonna come back and get this. I'm gonna set, no we will not forget. This is for mom. There's only three! That's the saddest thing ever. I was so excited and I've only got three. Let's get that candy right. This is such a, I just got tricked. Oh, I think I pulled something in my neck. Nice. Christmas shopping is going well. We got our mom a calendar. <laughs> Just when you thought all hope was lost, it has been regained in the cooler section. Look at this. How many should I get? Probably like a lot. I'm buying them all. Mm. Mm. We were just about to leave and I almost forgot to get the deer plant. It's so cute. Imagine if you would have taken off. No, because there was only one left. I, you wouldn't have even known. This is like the highlight of the video, other than the phone and everything else. I was so excited about this cute little plane and I left it there in the car only. Oh, sorry, you're right. Oh gosh, where's the keys? Oh, I, I gotta use keys, no push to start. We're going to Sheets. I'm super excited. This is one of my favorite gas stations. If you guys aren't from the East Coast, you might, I forget, what's the Philadelphia one? Wawa. This one's all new. These pumps actually used to be over there. This is really, this is really riveting content. in trouble. They yell at me every single time I come in here and I film. No pictures. Shh, shh, secret, secret sheets. What are we getting, Jen? Tickets for the lotto. The lotto. Look, this is like a cool digital screen. It's a fun. Super fancy. Okay, what are we getting? We're having fun tonight. These are always like the best gifts because they're super fun and uh, they provide a lot of entertainment and potential money. Then get gas. You have to get out, I'm driving. No! I'm trying to flip the camera around, but I can't because I've got gloves.
gloves on. Who's gonna get gas? You are. I don't want, I can't, I can't get out. But what do we do? I'll sit here all day until you pump the gas. You think that guy over there will get gas for us? We don't need a man. I just need you to get out and pump the gas for me. <laughs> <laughs> don't need no man. How much was it? $30. Oh my. Can you get in? Lock the door. <laughs>